doing? This is the first of Jan. I haven't won too far because the 31st, New Year's Eve, is a bit of a late one. And I'm feeling a bit, well, fragile is overstating it. Foggy, let's say foggy. But I've had a lot of questions just lately about my Miltech divvy bag. So I thought I'd make a video just going over the finer points, what I've found in using it, because I've, I've had it a year now. And when I first got it, I did sort of like a review just in the lounge showing what it was. And I've used it a lot, but never really done a sort of follow up review. So if it goes to plan, that's what this will be. Going over the basics, size wise, it's plenty big enough. Anyway, you can quite see the, at the bottom, it's that wide, standard size sleeping bag. Um, it's not one of the narrow mummy ones, as you can see, it's an envelope, well, an envelope hybrid because it's got a mummy hood, but it's a standard width envelope bag, fits in there without a problem. Lengthwise, oh, tons and tons of room. It's got to be 6'6 six, six plus, 6'6 six, six towards 7 foot, something like that. So, length is not an issue. Fits in there nicely, no problem at all. It has got the press studs on the inside. So, if you've got one of the uh, American style bags that are designed with a bivy that you can clip together. That will work with this. I'll just use an ordinary bag in it. No reason why not. The top is big enough, long enough, even when it zips right up. Plenty of height. You can turn over onto your shoulder within the bag without the bag coming with you. The, bag stays, the bivy stays flat. So loads of shoulder room, as it were. That's not an issue. Also, I tend to put my sleep mat normally inside underneath the sleeping bag and even with the added thickness there's still plenty of room it's very generous inside I know some people go bivy on top of sleep mat which if that's how you like it fine I tend to move around a fair bit in the night and I find having the sleep mat 
inside the bivvy just keeps it all in place. You can't get off of it because you're all zipped in as one. Um, the question that I get asked the most is about the breathability of it. The spec on the uh, website does give all the facts and figures of breathability. Whether you can believe that or not, I don't know. Uh, because as we know, a lot of these people are economical with the truth. But all I can tell you is my personal findings. First time out, I underestimated how much extra warmth this would add. Not only containing your body warmth, but of course it's keeping the wind and everything else off of you so it does build up warmth inside and I went out uh, I think it was in the autumn first time I used it I took a three season bag that I would normally use for that time of year that uh, temperature I was too hot not only was I too hot it was to the point of I was actually sweating you know, I had to sort of strip off in the in the night because I got that hot, and because of all the extra heat, me sweating, etc. Yes, it did get damp inside. Uh, it did have some condensation. It did make the surface of the sleeping bag damp to touch, but not enough to come through it to actually make me wet. Um, I'd underestimated the extra heat that it contains. So now, basically, I step down a season from what I would normally use. If it's three season weather, a two season bag, plus this, works fine. If it's winter time, proper winter time, a three season bag inside here is fine in the winter unless it's obviously stupid, stupid cold. But down on the south coast here, it never gets that bad. Um, now I've sussed the extra heat that's contained, and I modify not only the bag that I'm using, but the clothing I'm wearing in it. So I'm just comfortably warm rather than hot. I don't get the condensation. So I would say, yes, it is breathable, but not massively breathable. If you're laying in it, sweating like hell, I doubt if any bivy bag is really going to cope with that amount of moisture being produced inside. Not, and still be waterproof on the outside. If it built like a tea bag, yes, it would be. But uh, no. So yes, I think the breathability is fine as long as you've got the right temperature inside. So since I've, I've sussed out the balance and what to use, it's been fine with me. No, con Well, I'll say no condensation. You always get a slight little bit of damp in there. You will in any bag if you shut in, won't you? Um, but not that it's an issue, let's put it that way. It's trial and error. It's um, it's a bit... What am I thinking? What am I trying to say? More to the point, why, why am I just waffling away here and... Hang on. That's better. It didn't feel right not talking to the camera. And you don't really just want ages and ages of footage of just a bag. Although it could be preferable to me. I'll think about that. What I'm trying to say is it depends on how good your sleeping bag is, what clothing you're wearing, you know, whether you've gone full base layer and everything else, that sort of thing. And also whether you're naturally a hot or a cold sleeper. So it's going to take a little bit of experimentation for each individual person. I've struck that balance now. I'm happy with it. I think it's a really good bivy bag. 
it's a bit bigger, a little bit heavier, and a bit more bulky when packed than some of the really posh, super lightweight stuff. But it's really strong. I'm quite happy to just throw it on the floor in the woodland and it you know it won't get damaged. I've only put it out on the black sheet today because it is so wet and boggy and I didn't really want to pack it all up wet and horrible. You keep getting the bag dirty as well. So uh, yeah quite happy with it. I think it's great for the price and I hope that's answered some questions. I can't think of another question at the moment that I've been asked, but I've been asked several by several people. Ah, the other thing on the condensation front, the first time I used it, I did actually uh, close up the hood section, so I was you know, completely contained. Very hot. <laughs> Too hot. Within an hour or so I was having to pop the top open. I've never slept with it shut since. I think that also helps an awful lot with the condensation because of course your breath is the main source if your head's inside well all that breath is going to be inside as well if i was to use it purely on its own and the weather wasn't brilliant obviously you'd need to shut the hood up but i tend to have a tarp with me over the top anyway so i'm not worried about getting wet so I think that's answered all the questions. If I think of anything else, I'll be back.